Hey guys, this is Mr. Stevenson with another video update. This time for March 6, 2018. It's Tuesday and I just wanted to touch base with you guys in case you missed class or if you wanted a refresher on what it is that we talked about and discussed. Uh, so yesterday we looked at protest, why do people protest, and what are some ways that people protest, and today we got to see the impacts as well as how colonists put those different styles of protest into action. And so we saw, first off, a really violent and aggressive form of protest on the part of the colonists with their reaction to the Stamp Act. We read an excerpt from a story that included uh, a story about a tax collector nearly being buried alive by angry colonists. We also read about colonists attacking the homes of tax collectors in reaction to the Stamp Act. Uh, this led to the repeal of the Stamp Act in 1766, a year after it was enacted. And but what, the, what happened next was sort of like a, a whack-a-mole uh, kind of situation where, you know, the repeal of one and, oh, another is going to pop up in its place. And that next tax that pops up in place of the Stamp Act turns out to be what is called the Townsend Act, named for Charles Townsend. Uh, and this was more of a sort of spoonful of sugar approach to taxes. The, the idea being that if you hid the tax and it wasn't as in your face as the Stamp Act was, I mean, that was the thing with the Stamp Act is the Stamp Act was right there in the colonists' faces on a regular basis. Reading the newspaper, stamp is there. Le uh, letters from a lawyer, stamp is there. So those, uh, that Stamp Act tax was really in the face of the colonists on a regular basis. The Townsend Act, on the other hand, was more hidden and it was an approach that was uh, on duties. They taxed the goods as they came off of merchant ships and so it wasn't as seen uh, by the colonists as the Stamp Act was. But that doesn't mean it was agreeable to the colonists anymore. Uh, remember, they, it's not the taxes it is the lack of representation. No taxation without representation. Colonists were happy to pay taxes that were passed by their local, uh, local governments that they had a say in, that they had a vote in. It was the lack of representation more than anything else that angered the colonists. And the, the approach to the Townsend Act uh, was very different than the Stamp Act. Uh, and just as we said that there are two styles of protest yesterday, there's the violent and destructive wing of protesting, and then there's also the nonviolent or peaceful means of protesting. Uh, the approach to the Townsend Act was the latter, the peaceful style nonviolent of protest. And so the approach to protesting the Townsend Act came as a boycott. And boycotting was the refusal to purchase British goods. And that refusal to purchase British goods meant that there was a lack of that tax being paid. So that tax that the British Parliament passed thinking that they were going to get income from, if there's a boycott and people aren't purchasing the goods, that tax is not getting paid, that tax is not coming in, and so there's not going to be that revenue uh, coming into Parliament to help pay off the debt incurred by the French and Indian War. Uh, now, colonial women played a major role in the boycott. Colonial women did much of the family purchasing, much of the family shopping at the time. And then also, uh, they were using homespun cloth to make clothing, would make pine needle tea, and we also cannot forget the Han Solo effect that smugglers were still uh, bringing in illicit, undutied goods uh, into the town, uh, into the colonies. Um, so, 
The very stark uh, contrast between the reactions to the Stamp Act with a violent and aggressive means of protesting and the reaction to the Townsend Act, the approach to protesting by boycotting in a peaceful and nonviolent manner, uh, really leads us to ask ourselves a question. And the question for us then becomes, uh, which style of protest is more effective? Which do you think is more effective? It was a question I asked of students today. And the question, you know, really was split down the line. Some students thought violent and destructive. Others thought that peaceful protest was, uh, was a much more effective means of protest. And so I asked the question to you guys. What do you think? Put it in the comments below. All right, talk to you later. thing. Uh, don't forget class, we have a quiz coming up on Thursday. The quiz is going to be on the Stamp Act and Colonial Protest. So study hard, good luck, I know you do well. All right, bye guys. Hey, good afternoon class. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. This is a video update for March 6, 2018. This is in case you missed class today or want a brief refresher over the topics that we talked about in class. Now, yesterday, March 5th, we talked about the protest. Why do people... Ugh.